Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you some of my hobby designs. I hope you find it as relaxing as I do. Please have a look and enjoy. A Von Braun station is a fictitious rotating space station that creates an artificial gravity through its rotation. If a jogger inside a Von Braun station runs against the direction of rotation, this will have an effect on the jogger and his surroundings. First, the jogger will run against the rotation of the station, which means that he or she will run backwards in relation to the station. This will reduce the apparent gravity felt by the jogger as he is working against the rotation. This can make the jogger feel lighter and affect their balance. The rotation of the station also creates a centrifugal force that acts on the jogger, pushing him outwards. If the jogger runs against the rotation, he will counteract this centrifugal force and be pushed towards the station. This can make the jogger feel heavier and need more strength to maintain their speed. The size of the bronze station is also relevant, as the centrifugal force decreases with increasing distance from the center of rotation of the station. So if the jogger is running close to the edge of the station, he will feel a lower centrifugal force than if he is in the center of the station. Overall, running against the direction of rotation of the bronze station can lead to a change in the sense of balance and perceived gravity. It is important that the jogger adjusts their speed and is careful not to run too close to the edge of the station to ensure safe and stable running. What speed does R equals 105 meters Von Braun station need to get to 1G? To create an artificial gravity of 1G on a Von Braun station, the station must have a certain rotational speed. The required rotational speed depends on the size of the station. For a Von Braun station with a radius of 105 meters, the required rotational speed is given by the formula. G equals 4 pi 2 r slash t squared. Where G is the artificial gravity in meter per second squared, R is the radius of the station in meters and T is the rotation time in seconds. Since we want to set the artificial gravity G to 1 G, 9.81 meters per second squared, we can rearrange the formula to find T. T equals 2 pi R slash G. T equals 2 pi 105 ninths point eight one. T equals 21.67 seconds. The required rotation time T is therefore about 21.67 seconds. The rotational speed needed to achieve this rotation duration depends on the station's axis of rotation and can be calculated using the formula. Omega equals 2 pi slash T. Can be calculated. Omega equals 2 pi slash 21.67. Omega 0.29 rad slash S. The rotational speed required to create an artificial gravity of 1 g on a bronze station with a radius of 105 meters is about 0.29 rad slash s. This type of station was first proposed by Werner von Braun, a German aerospace engineer, in the 1950s. Today, we will be going over the mechanical design process for this type of station. Step 1. Determine the station's specifications before designing a von Braun station. It's important to determine the specifications of the station. This includes the size, shape, and number of modules required to meet the mission objectives. Consider the number of people who will be on board, the duration of their stay, and the purpose of the station. These specifications will dictate the mechanical design and materials used for the station. Step 2. Design the station's habitat modules Once you have determined the specifications of the station, the next step is to design the habitat modules. These modules will provide living quarters, workspaces, and other necessary amenities for the crew. It's important to ensure that the modules are designed to provide a comfortable living space while also being functional and efficient. Step 3. Design the station's structural components with the habitat modules designed, it's time to move on to the station's structural components. This includes the main body of the station, the rotating ring, and the support structure. The main body of the station will house the support structure and provide a stable base for the rotating ring. The rotating ring will be the key component that generates the artificial gravity. Step 4. Determine the station's power source The Von Braun station will require a reliable power source to provide electricity for the crew and systems on board. Solar panels are often used for this purpose, but other power sources may be used depending on the station's location and mission objectives. Step 5. Develop the station's life support systems Life support systems are critical for keeping the crew alive and healthy in space. This includes air circulation, water purification, waste management, and food production. The design of these systems will depend on the station's location, mission objectives, and crew size. Step 6. Finalize the mechanical design Once all the components of the station have been designed, it's time to finalize the mechanical design. 
This includes ensuring that all components are properly integrated, that the station is stable and balanced, and that it will operate safely and efficiently in space. Conclusion That concludes our step-by-step -step guide for designing a Von Braun station. Remember, the mechanical design of a rotating space station is complex and requires careful planning and consideration. By following these steps and designing a station that meets the mission objectives and crew needs, we can create a safe and functional space habitat for future explorers. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more space related content. Don't forget to like and subscribe.